What is going on guys? Alex Humek here, coming back at you with another YouTube video. Again, uploading Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. This is a continuation of Monday's video. This should probably be up Wednesday. I'm still with Hattie and uh, Mo, little Mo. And uh, yeah, so we just had Starbucks, got food, edited a little bit. Uh, we're just gonna continue on based on what we've been doing. So we're gonna go hit Chiseled today, uh, the smaller gym. It's probably gonna be kind of, well, Sunday. Probably shouldn't be packed actually, might be, might be fine. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the crib. We're gonna actually try out these prime energy drinks. You might as well do it on the on the vlog as well. You think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do we a little have, taste test. Logan Paul. It's Logan Paul and KSI, right? Yeah, Logan Paul and KSI. Apparently, they said they're reselling it for fifteen dollars on eBay. On eBay, because they're running out in stores, bro. They're making bread. Yeah, I keep seeing people keep asking for my review on them. They sent me two boxes. I got the purple and the blue, but we just went to the vitamin shop and got like all the flavors. So we'll do a quick taste test review for you guys. I know some of you guys are interested in that. Um, but yeah, and then we'll go. Chisel, train chest. Yeah. Uh, Chest edit. Try. And then I'm yeah. headed back to Jersey yeah. today. And you're coming next week, right? Yeah, we're Alex is to coming because we're going to Rutgers and yeah. we're going to trash another frat, a frat party. Yeah, and that should be lit. Yeah. We'll hit another frat, hopefully. You're coming. Um, we got to walk in shirtless though. Yeah, like I want to get like a super aesthetic with like montage. Yeah, I feel like I an need aesthetic to get in like a basement with the Saturdays are for the boys. I need but to get leaner though. That's the thing. Diet, and week. then I'll be like confident. Just go zero carbs all week. Yeah, zero <laughs> carbs, my cookie. All right, so we're gonna try out the prime drink. So I'm gonna make a TikTok out of it. So, so I'm just gonna sit this right here. I right, start off with the purple one. We we don't have the blue one, but I have had them. I already drank the blue ones before, so I know how it tastes like. This is great. It's I. I give that like a six and a half. I'll give it a seven. It wasn't bad. Six and a half. It's a little bit better than this one, I think. I give that a seven for me. It's not bad. This one's fire. This one, no, for like a, compared to a greater, it's like eight and a half, nine, yeah. probably. I'll, I'll give. I mean, I'll, I'm still saying seven. <laughs> it's all right. Eleven lime. lime. To me, that's more like Gatorade. That's like an eight. This is good. Eight that and a half. That one's good. I like and grape and lemon lime. Oh, that's fire. Nine, nine, fire. Uh, these are my top two. Let me go. I, I, oh, shit. Yo, the orange is actually gas. I'm not even gonna lie. This tastes straight like Gatorade. This one's, dude, you're gonna say this one's not good, bro? Yo, pulled up in the 350. Mmm. What a nice car. Look at the lineup we got in the driveway right now. We got the 500, got the Supra. I might as well turn into a car YouTube channel at this point. Yo, there might be a fire at the gym. There's like huge fire that there's smoke. You can see from my house. Now we're here now. So. Yeah, there's like a fire. We can't even go to the gym right now. I can't park anymore. You can see that from the house, how bad it was. He's a big Damn, supporter of us. Oh yeah? yeah. Tough, bro. What's your name? Same. How long have you been watching this for? That's sick. From so when you started. Awesome. Yeah. That's so sick. What nationality are you, bro? I'm Egyptian. Oh, come oh, here, bro! Man. That's what, come yeah, here, bro. Yeah, I'm Egyptian too. Yo, yeah, I'm Egyptian too. Yo, yeah, I'm Egyptian too, yo. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like, really, I don't fuck with Alex that much, but this focus shit, bro, I took it the other day. And my music, bro, my music was like, I felt it in my head. It was crazy. It was like the best feeling I ever had. Like, it's crazy. Yo, it's like an, it's like a mini Adderall, bro. It's like you take a little mini Adderall. Yo, Alex, bro, I'm really jacking you no more. Every time I, every time I try to buy merch, that shit sold out in a second. All right, so uh, we're at the gym. There was like a little issue going on outside with like a fire or something. But uh, we're about to hit a push day. Um, I'm going to attempt to do dumbbell benching, which I haven't done since I re-injured my shoulder, re-dislocated it. I have a torn labrum, if you guys didn't know. Uh, so I'm going to try to do that. So we're gonna be careful again, but I want to really kill my shoulders today. I've been you're, well, a lot I of think what it is is that your chest is so big that your adults look smaller. Because, because again, Bingo. you have to have. Bingo. That's, Bingo. What it that's is. really what it is. That's what it is. Inhale. For me, when I go to my next grow after I compete at my next growing stage, I'm only I'm only gonna hit chest like once every week and a half, maybe yeah. once every ten days, and then try to hit everything else twice, three times. Yeah. I want to like overload my shoulders. Yeah. And I do want to. No, it's so. You can Lexus is so aesthetic. Looking at Lexus, bro. I'm like, yo. OD. Five inch shorts, bro? Yeah. They're You're not, not bad, well, right? They've definitely gotten bigger. No, your legs are good. They've gotten bigger. They're, and they're cut. They're more cut than the rest of your body, in my opinion, bro. Yeah, they, they just try, like, the, the separation is really nice. Yeah, but after seeing Lex's, I was like, 
Yeah, 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 yeah. That's I feel like also if you have too big of legs, it takes away from your upper body. Yeah. I feel like mediocre legs with a crazy upper body is better than a like slightly above, above average. I agree. Body. A little bit above mediocre. Yeah. A little bit above mediocre. I think I think upper body people will say like I think everybody goes the longest way. It's just facts. Yeah. What do people look at first? Yo, can I see your quads? Or can I see your abs, or your chest, or your back, or your yeah. arms? They don't say, yo, let me see your, your quads real quick. Yeah. But I just, I have a grow, I grow an appreciation for like legs. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree, I agree, I agree. I know you guys are like, like technically you're not Christian, but you're Muslim, but like, I love the idea of like women and men roles, meaning next girl I, I'm with, she's gotta like cook for me, cook clean me. for me, do all like, the oh, stuff yeah. that I don't like doing myself. Uh, yeah. I don't do now, myself. Now don't get it you're filming. It's not like you have to do that if you're a girl. You don't have to do that. You can do whatever the fuck you want. You know what I'm saying? Whatever makes you happy. They're talking preference. Like, would I prefer that my the woman that I'm gonna do for my life, the rest of my life is able to do that? 100. percent That's what I'd prefer because I can't do that. Yeah, so yeah. I need that. I'm missing it's that. Not that. That's it's my not missing that half. You can't do that. I don't want. It's not. You it's don't not. Want to. I'm too busy. Yeah. yeah You're doing so many. I, I, I'm perfectly fine with being the provider, paying for everything, doing all that stuff. Right. But you need to like clean, take care of the crib, take care of my laundry. I'll pay for everything. I'll pay for everything. You know what I mean? be like, I'll be the provider, like it's supposed, like in the Bible, like me being like the man of the household, like being the provider. I like that, and the woman being like the caretaker. I like that. I need that. If not, you're chalked. Like you're cut. You're cut. Yes, and they get it, cause look at me now, and they look at yourself in the mirror. I know they doubted my thesis, but they doubted Jesus, and right now I'm making it clear. Clearly, these people don't know where they going, and lately I feel like the man with the map. I got this shit out the mud, you could give me the word and I'll probably give it right back Back of the bus I was scraping the change, back in my head I was living a life Back of my job I was losing the focus and trying to find ways to get back to the mic All of this working ain't working, I felt like a liar and I cannot lie to my soul I know the truth universal so don't let me tell you, I know that a lot of you know Spilling pieces of a poet, don't you know it, I'm the real thing baby and if it don't make a dollar, then how could it make a real change, baby? Spilling pieces of a poet, don't you know it? All right, so I haven't been benching in, since I dislocated, like over a month and a half probably, since I dislocated it again. Uh, so we're gonna start working our way back up. Again, like slow, elbows in. Uh, making sure I don't, I'm not too like crazy with it. Yo, we're not gonna, we might not be able to train, bro. This is chalk. So it is the next day. Um, we just got Starbucks, and I just wanted to let you guys know that, like I said in some of the videos, not all salted caramel cream cold brews are made the same. This one is made absolutely perfect. This one is fantastic. Usually, a lot of the Starbucks, it's like mid. I've not had one this good in a long time, so this is fire. Um, anyways, we're about to go do a little mini raw gear photo shoot for the drop that's on the 22nd. So by the time you probably see this video, I think the drop will be already out, or it's drop day. I don't know. Use code Alex if it is drop day, and there's still self left. <laughs> I thought it'd be a good idea to show you guys like a grocery store haul, um, especially on the cut. So we're at Costco. Um, so I'm going to be going into a cut here soon. So a lot of these foods that I'm going to buy are going to be more for a cut or, or going into a cut. So kind of like a reverse diet going from your higher calories, a little bit lower, easing into a cut. Um, and I'll just kind of say what I think is better for cutting and what is better for bulking, what I recommend. So we're going to go in and I'll kind of take you guys through what my uh, haul is. This is not technically on a budget. I'm not, I don't really eat on a budget. Like I was explaining my Instagram live, when it comes to food, that's what you put in your body. That's what should be one of your main things you put money into before you even think about supplements, anything, buy good quality food. Then if you have leftover money, then get the supplements and stuff like that. But yeah, we're going to go in here right now. Starting off with fish. So I love fish. Really good for you. Uh, the thing is when you have to figure, figure out what fish you're getting if you if you want like lower fat stuff You get white white fish because it's low in fat um, If you get salmon or other fish, it's higher in fat, but it's it's healthy like the omegas and stuff is good for you if You're bulking salmon over cod is definitely like a way better thing 
if you're cutting, I recommend cod or like tilapia, like the, like the white fish is probably the best. I'm just grabbing salmon just because I know my dad's gonna eat it and I don't have to go into extreme caloric deficit yet. I'm still at like 2,800 calories, so we haven't even started lowering them yet. So I can eat salmon. Um, when I start getting to like 2,200 or whatever, then I'm gonna have to cut that out and only do white fish. Which one do you think? Oh, I'll just put that in there, I did. This is the best chicken here too, especially for the price. All right, so this is organic. Um, I don't know if I believe in the whole organic farm, farm fed, grass raised, whatever stuff, but um, honestly, you can't really taste the difference, but maybe it's better. But these are like the biggest chicken breasts ever at Costco. And like, it's a good deal too. I mean, it's not bad, $6 for a pound, and it's good quality stuff. It's not that bad. Obviously, chicken's like the chicken breast, like the leanest type of protein source you can get. So I recommend getting that over anything. So in a cut or or in a bulk, I recommend chicken. It's just easy as protein per gram, so it's easy. Yo, well I can't even touch it. Imagine just like eating the head off that thing. There's no shot. I don't recommend that. I don't recommend that. I'd I'd rather eat it like this. You know what I mean? What is it? Seventeen for all of this? This is cheap. That's cheap. I'm rocking with that. That ain't bad. Tilapia. All right. This is like I said, white fish. We're getting a lot of fish today. All right, so that's it for the protein sources for, for the week. We're done, we're done there. The chicken breast, tilapia, salmon, we're chilling. So now we gotta go find some carbs, maybe some fats. Apples, this is just for like, if I'm like streaming, like nighttime I get like hungry all the time, I wanna binge, so fruit, I like to binge at nighttime. Um, it's like a healthier snack. So if I'm like streaming, wanna go grab something midstream, an apple, or even like bananas or something, it's probably the best way to go. My favorite fruit though is definitely like watermelon. Watermelon, pineapple, cantaloupe, melons, I like a lot. Uh, but I'm not gonna start eating that till like summertime. It's just not the vibe yet. We are gonna grab these LaCroix though. Yeah, these are fire. So, uh, these help a lot when I'm cutting. Um, it kind of helps me satisfy my hunger. Um, I don't know why, it's just having it with the sparkling water versus regular water, and it's a little bit flavored, fills my stomach up a lot more. And I don't know what it is, but when I'm like really, really dehydrated or really thirsty and I down one of these, it's like so satisfying. I don't know. And you get used to the taste. I used to hate this stuff, but this is fire. Like, oh, you look key right here. Yeah, let's grab them. Cinnamon pull apart. Yo, that's gas. This is for a refeed. I'm not gonna get it. That's tempting. The thing is, what do you get? What do you like the start of the cut? Like my cravings aren't that bad. When I once I get really deep into it, I want to eat everything. Like super sweet stuff. That's why I save it for like my refeeds or my cheat meals. But yeah. All right, so for carb source, I love English muffins because I put jelly on them. Um, rice is cool too, but for me, like mornings or nighttime, I crave a little bit more sweeter stuff. So for me, this helps me with my cravings because I can put jelly on them. So I'll put like strawberry jelly, gas so far. Big old rice. These are only $17.49. It's cheap. Put this. Mm. Turkey bacon, I'm big on. So one slice, 45 calories, this is great for a breakfast. So I, I'd recommend this a lot. I'll do this with cereal probably. Let's get the whole pallet. Get the whole pallet? Hey, yo. <laughs> Give me them. Oh, oh, yeah. I gotta cook this all today. Stop playing with me. So I, this is my second meal of the day. I'm recording for the video. This is my second meal for the day. I got a chicken bake. I haven't had one of these in a minute. But um, yeah, this thing is long, so bro. Gay. Why is it so big? Yo, it's big and gay. thick, bro. It's like it's 13 inch. Yo, you're so huh? Gay. Yo, dub uh, I don't recommend eating this. It's just I haven't eaten today. So yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm back home. So again, I'll show you guys real quick what we got. Uh, so first off, we have a bunch of turkey bacon here. Um, it's just uncured. Uh, hickory smoked turkey bacon so this is fire when I do like with this with egg I didn't get egg whites because I already have some but this with egg whites and then cereal is a simple first meal of the day like easy I'll probably do a full day eating in the next YouTube video so if you guys want to stay tuned for that using this food I'll probably cook it tomorrow um, and then second third fourth meals stuff like that I can do anything from having you know eight out six to eight ounces of tilapia or the salmon that's in here or I got a bunch of chicken breast so all this food easily Easily should last me at least a week. Like I would say, I'm pretty sure it should last me a week. I'm pretty sure. So with my dad eating it, probably not, but yeah. All right, so basically, uh, whenever I'm like going through a growing phase, like a bulk, whatever you want to call it, I'm not really focused on eating the healthiest. I'll, eat, I'll, I'll pretty much eat decently healthy, but I don't do stuff like this where I'll go to like Costco to get like pretty healthy whole foods. Whenever I go into a deficit though, and I start to kind of try to get leaner, I will really focus on eating just whole foods. And like, like I was saying with like the fish earlier, 
Um, for me, when I go into like a big deficit and I start getting really leaner and shredded, I'm gonna have a really low fat diet. And that's just because I'm not doing the low fat diet for like, because a low fat diet is better. It's more of just because one gram of fat is equated to nine calories and one gram of protein or uh, carbs is equivalent to four. So if you minimize your fat, your fat intake from foods, you're gonna be able to eat more. So I wanna be able to eat more so I'm more satisfied in my hunger. I'd rather have a higher protein and like moderate carb diet on a cut so I can be more satiated um, throughout my cut when I start getting into like the low calorie numbers versus when I'm at like 28 or 3000 calories, I don't care how much like fat fats I eat and stuff like that. And I can eat more, I can get away with eating more salmon versus like the white fish, or I can get away with eating chicken thighs over chicken breasts because those have more fat in them, which means they taste a lot better. But the issue is like, again, you're eating more calories, which you don't have to. So when I'm going into the cut, I'm definitely gonna have a lower fat diet. So I'll go away from like the fish like salmon, just do tilapia or just do cod and just do chicken breasts or like really, really lean ground beef or ground turkey and stuff like that. Uh, egg whites, no egg uh, and no like yolks or anything like that. Just simple things like that are going from whole milk to almond milk. Those little changes make it really easy when dieting because you could just set, you could just literally change those simple things and you could already put yourself in a deficit doing that. So you're certainly eating the same amount of volume of food. You're just eating less because you're eating less fat. So I completely forgot I was supposed to record. I'm already, uh, I'm on the last set of front squats. That's all I did though. I haven't really, you guys have missed how much, but I almost, <laughs> I almost passed out, bro. I had to get my inhaler, bro. It was bad. I was doing like the last rep of front squats. I was like, oh, oh, it started like tilting a little bit. I was like, nah, there's no shot. So yeah, we're finishing off the front squats. Gonna do one more set, um, back off and then, uh, we'll do, honestly, I want to try, I think we're gonna do some like seated leg curls. And then I'm gonna go and try to do deadlifts like RDLs, um, but I'm trying to I'm gonna try to go a little bit heavier with the barbell, but try to really focus on form and uh, activating my glutes and my hamstrings. I haven't done those in a bit, so we're gonna go ahead and try that out right now. This is the I can do this with my eyes closed. Still got crack, they fiendin' Flow still hot like Phoenix Shine so bright, I'm gleaming. This off top, I'm tweaking. Fresh out the rat like me And I'm still tryna fight my demons Cause we all gotta act like Tina That's why I gotta ride with the Nino Outside, it's a war going on Make me put my hands on my head like a Macarena They want you walking on board like Kima Ain't give a F to you like John Cena Putting blood on the brand new Beamer Tryna earn they stripes like Adidas You get cold when you ride with the heater It'll turn you to a dog like a Keto and exposed to a cat like a cheetah. They smoke my partner like reef. Dime lo porque o no antes no mi gente must really need Jesus. They shed real blood. I never seen a crypt and I believe it. The polo with the car goes. Take a trip to Dad. Grandma Ursi had the car for. I need like six rings like the Bulls in Chicago. Cause we be out here three peating. Pumping fan, they hard. You can hear beating. Schooling all them and we still teaching. Wanna talk biz? We can set the meeting. Light us up, yeah, we still chiefing. You be lucky if you still breathing. Always think before you start speaking. With yourself, you be still beefing. Cause they ain't real, they just real misleading. Trying to read me, but you misreading. Yeah. We in the bunker, rolling up some skunk up Laying down tracks, you can hear the hunger Every day is numbered and we ain't getting younger So I apply pressure like a damn plunger They ain't for the culture, they all vultures They all vulgar, we need structure for these youngsters They all pumped up, pushing dumpsters See a cop then rush them, we need change But we all flustered It been this way since they call us color For about 10 summers, DJ Mustard The revolution still loading like it got a buffer now we got the way what is good guys so it is the uh the next day i don't know if i recorded i don't think i recorded many leg day clips i was i was killing it and i was just grinding so i didn't really want to record much um of it so hope you guys are okay with that but anyways i wanted real quick to explain the whole process of cutting i was going through my dms a little bit this morning and i saw like three or four like right in a row asking um how to go about cutting how do i lose weight and stuff like that so I guess I might as well explain it because this is technically like a cutting, not like a cutting guide, but this is like, I guess like the food part of it for me. So when I start really going into the into this like prep or when I try to get shredded here, um, it's getting warmer out, getting closer to the show, all that stuff, I'm going to get shredded. So what my coach is going to make me do is probably going to be different than what I usually would do. But So I'm just going to explain what I usually would do. 
for me, first thing you got to do is find your maintenance calories, right? So number one, find your maintenance calories. What is your maintenance calories? Look it up on like the internet. Look up like if your uh, macros calculator, whatever. It's going to give you a rough estimate. Your maintenance calories is what you can eat every single day and your body is going to burn it off and you're literally not going to lose weight or gain weight. It's your maintenance. So bulking would be in a surplus of calories. Cutting would be in a deficit of calories and then maintaining would be in maintenance calories, right? So find your maintenance calories. Find that number that it tells you to pick, right? And then eat at that number for like three days in a row, right? Track your weight every single morning when you wake up. If your weight is going up, you want to subtract 200 calories from that number. If your weight is going down too fast, you want to increase it by 200 calories. Once your weight is staying consistent for like three days in a row, three to four days in a row, eating at that calorie number, that is your maintenance calories. So that's what we're going to be, we're going to start at, right? Second step, you want to subtract maybe 300 calories from that first, start off a little bit low, a lower deficit, 300 calorie deficit, and then we're going to probably do like steps or cardio. So for me, I'll do cardio. I'll start at like three to four 20 minute sessions a week. It really wasn't that bad at all. So I didn't mind doing that to so start at that for cardio. Well, you're sorry, you, sh you should start losing weight. And um, if it's if it's too slow, you can, you can either add a cardio session or you can um, do another 100 to 200 calorie deficit. Uh, I don't recommend going over a 500 calorie deficit. I don't think that you need to. You could just add cardio and, and honestly, you're going to be like really hungry and I don't like to feel hungry on a cut. So I'd rather do more cardio or be more active than lower my calories. So it's kind of, it's different for other people. Some people might be fine with eating less and just doing less cardio. It's all, it's all up to you. But I recommend the sweet spot for me once I get deep in a cut is nothing past a 500 calorie deficit and then doing cardio up to every day, 20 minutes daily um, to 30 minutes. When I get deeper in the cut, I'll, I'll do every single day. And then maybe max max would be like 30 minutes of cardio a day, um, every single day. And I, I do mine fasted in the morning just because I prefer to do it like that. I'm more focused and I just, it just helps me start my day cause I'm not a morning person at all. So it kind of helps me get it started. Um, but yeah, it's just a simple, quick guy. It's literally as simple as it is. If you want to get lean, you want to get shredded, simple as that. Just putting your body in a negative caloric state. So your body has to take away from your fat. Um, nope, nothing like these, these fad diets, like doing keto or doing the carnivore diet. Yeah, that'll help you probably lose some weight, but temporarily, but as simple as that, doing that. And then for me, I'll add refeeds in maybe once a week, I would do like a big cheat meal where I'll eat a, whatever I wanted for a whole meal, like a, like a huge carb meal. Um, just because it would help kind of reset myself to be on diet for the rest of the week. It'll just make me feel better. I, I don't know if there's any benefits to it when it comes to like your leptin levels or whatever it is. Um, I've heard that it can help spike your metabolism again so you don't keep crashing it because your metabolism is going to get lower and lower as you go into a caloric deficit. Just how your body maintains homeostasis. homeostasis. <laughs> it gets used to that calorie number. So your body will literally like lower its maintenance level. So that's why when you bulk, you got to start at a lower level and you got to build your, your maintenance back up through bulking. Um, which I did not do a great job at. I'm not good at that. Oh, I don't like bulking. I'm literally filming as this video is going to drop. It's a, this is Friday, so I have to edit this and get it out by the time you guys see it today. It's a grind, bro. You guys have no idea. You know, it's such a grind. By myself, especially when I'm home. But yeah, this, this weekend's going to be lit, though. We're going to Jersey. I think we're going to go to uh, Rutgers. I think Hattie and Mo and them had some stuff planned for us to do another like frat-type video. Or we might do... I was thinking like maybe I'll... um. Like how many girl, <laughs> how many girl Snapchats can I get? Or um, like a like a Q and A. We'll do like yeah, not a Q and A. We'll do like some I don't know. We'll do some like Jesse James West type of like a funny, a stupid video in public, I guess, when we're out there. So it should be a cool weekend, fun weekend. And then we also are gonna be uh, setting it down to Florida here soon, um, in March. So that should be dope as well. And then we're hitting South Carolina the whole month of May. So we already got some cool traveling stuff coming up. So I'm excited for that. But yeah, that is it. So if you guys did not know, the Raw Gear Drop happened yesterday. I hope you uh, supported me. Use code Alex, show some love. Um, there should still be some stuff in stock. I'll put the link down below in the description if you want to go check out the new drop. Um, show some love. Use code Alex. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn the bell notification on so you guys are always up to date when I upload. Again, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. It is a grind, so please like the video because I am... I'm grinding right now. I need a break, but I'm not gonna take a break. So I know some people were saying like, "Yeah, you can take a break." I'm not taking a break. I'm just gonna keep grinding. I'm not. I'm not gonna be a little. You know, so yeah, love you guys. Until next time. Peace out.